Well, I think it's very important to understand that it's not only a health issue. And in particular, when we talk about mental health, which is such a big component in, in working capacity, mental health is very much a social, economic and health issue. And also policy responses very often need to combine social interventions, employment interventions and health interventions or treatment. So I think the it's, it is so important to understand that because you can't get better outcomes if you only focus on health. You really need to focus on all these aspects and all the barriers that someone has, whether it's health, employment and social, and in particular that you do this at the same time. And that's a bit difficult for many countries because the employment field and the health field usually operates in silos, very far from each other, and we need to make sure that they work together and that they don't work um, subsequently, but that we actually address these issues at the same time. Like it has been for too long a common practice. Well, if you're, if you're sick, we leave you by yourself. If you're sick, you come back to us when you're completely recovered. The truth is we need to look at other issues than the sickness per itself, employment and social issues that might need to be addressed to get you back into employment because otherwise there's a very high chance that you might have recovered after a year or two but we have might have lost this window of opportunity to get you back into the labor market or either your previous job or another job. Well there's a lot of things that you can learn with both in terms of what you should do and what you should not do. One thing that is very clear what you should not do is first let people onto an incapacity benefit relatively easily and then only afterwards try to think about so how can we help you off benefit and into employment again. And to put that around, what you really should do is intervene very early. And intervening early means on the one hand that you are giving employers a strong role because those are the ones who see problems early on. And maybe, it, and that's some countries like Switzerland, for instance, found a good solution so that employers actually can turn to social insurance very early on, or in the case of Belgium, it could be employers can turn to the mutual um, health insurance uh, societies very early on when they see, either they see already that the worker has issues or they have indications that there will be issues so that they can actually get early intervention programs into um, action at a time when the person has not yet given up on, on being employed and staying in the labor market. Well, I think uh, in Belgium, you have what, what the comparative data shows that you have in the last 10 years, roughly, seen a very fast increase in working capacity payments uh, across the country, by the way, with huge differences in, in different regions. While many other countries of the OECD have already seen a stabilization of that trend because they have engaged in reforms already some time ago. And I think Belgium didn't really need to do that because until not too long ago, people could stay on unemployment benefits without any time limit so there was somehow a considerable group of people who had developed um, kind of long-term uh, labor market barriers who were parked on the unemployment system and not visible as an incapacity problem. And now through that uh, reform in unemployment benefits, when this was no longer possible, these people became all of a sudden much more visible in the, in the cap in capacity system, which is a real advantage because now you can address the real the real problems. And in that sense, then we are we are back to the same issues. We need to realize, uh-huh, we have left these people on unemployment and eventually incapacity for way too long. We should have helped them much earlier. And we need to find the right measures and to find the right stakeholders to get involved and get a bigger role to address these issues that eventually turn into a real barrier to the labor market because if you have been off, off work for a couple of years it's very unlikely that you would actually return to work. We need to address and identify these issues earlier 
and we need employers for that, we need doctors for that, doctors who must actually have a focus on labor market issues and not just health, which is one of these examples of where integrated thinking is, is necessary. Right? Doctors are in most countries not sufficiently trained to understand work issues and therefore while well, they just treat and in the term of the work context what they often do is they prepare sickness certificates to protect people from the terrible labor market. In fact that is not good uh, for people's health and nor for their eventual labor market career. Good policy also from health is actually work can in many ways be used and gradually returning to work to, to speed up the recovery also from the health issue.